Well, hello friends, it's Amy Ferlici from the Gathering Inspiration Stamp Studio. And oh my goodness, check out this gorgeous card. The products that we're using on this have just become available in our new Stampin' Up, uh, let's see, 2019-20 annual catalog. So I wanna show you the products that we're using on this card and then I'm gonna show you how to make it. So much fun and goodness on this card. Isn't it just gorgeous? Yay! Okay, so let me show you. Um, so have you guys seen, this is the new Stampin' Up! Creativity is Calling Annual Catalog. If you don't have one of these catalogs in your hands yet, let me know, um, send me a message, post a comment, and I'd be happy to get um, a catalog sent out to you. So I'm going to start by showing you on page 27, we have the super cute, the Parcels and Petals stamp set. So can you guys see all of the great detail um, on this stamp set? And then there are some dies. I'll show you those in just a sec. But I love, so we are using, where is it? Now I'm like trying to find it on here. Oh, <laughs> it's right here. The thank you. It's it's in that cute little um, die cutout right there too. And then just some other great floral images, the to and from. There's, um, let's see, you're the best. You did it. A little something birthday cheer to you all year and somebody loves you lots oops lots and lots so great sentiments great imagery and then i'm going to actually show you not in the catalog i'll show you those dies in just a sec no nope, i'm going to show them you right now um these are called the perfect parcel dies so these are the dies that uh, coordinate with the stamp set and then come in a bundle so let me show you these are some great so there's that one um die, uh, a, a label die. That's the label that we're going to be using. And then this detailed piece right here is what we used right behind. That's all of that detail right there. And then there's another one. You could cut out another layer and kind of put it right behind there too. And then this super cute, some more. This is the one that they showed the thank you in. Um, that little label right there. And then a fun little topper. And then um, some other fun. I haven't even played with these yet, but oh, I cannot wait to break these out and start playing with them. And then another, um, like a box, it's gonna make a box um, with that die right there. So lots of fun and goodness. I love the labels though too. I think it's great because you can make 3D projects and then they've got some really cute labels that you can use as well for lots of other things. So then the other thing I wanna show you guys, cause it's kind of the star of the card really is this beautiful designer series paper. That is part of the Magnolia Lane designer series paper. There's a whole suite starting on pages 30, page 37, 36 and 37 is this look at all of this gorgeous ness right on the Magnolia Lane suite. Um, so you can see lots of use of that designer series paper. And then here is the actual kind of in the catalog, all of the Magnolia Lane designer series paper. I'm gonna try to get super close. You guys can see they, they promised that they would do a better job of showing the designer series paper um, in the catalog. And I think they definitely did that for us this year. So lots of beautiful um, imagery in that designer series paper. And then I love my stripes. So I had to pull those stripes out too. So let's go ahead and get started. We are using, this is Petal Pink cardstock. That's what we're using for our card base. So I'll show you with our eight and a half by 11 piece of Petal Pink cardstock. Along the eight and a half inch side, we scored it at four and a half inches, right? And then along the 11 inch side, we, I'm sorry, <laughs> We cut it at four and a quarter inches, and then along the 11 inch side, we scored it at five and a half inches for our nice crisp fold on our card, right? So we'll do that with this one as well. Love how that goes together, right? Then I will show you, we have a piece of a mossy meadow cardstock that measures three and a half by four and a half inches. And then that beautiful detail on that Magnolia Lane Designer Series paper with some pretty stripes on the other side too. And then this piece of DSP measures three by three inches. And then there's one more piece of the stripey designer series paper with some cute little flowers. Oops, there's the camera <laughs> on that side. So this piece measures two inches by four and a quarter inches, okay? So let's do our stamping and our die cutting. 
I just have, actually stamping is gonna be really simple, right? So here, and I'll show you again that parcels and petals stamp set. So we're using that thank you, but lots of other great sentiments on there too. Oh, so much goodness, so much fun new stuff to play with. Everything I look at, I'm like, oh, I wanna play with that some more. So it's a fun time of year. Um, I will have all of the item codes and all the details that you need to put your order in to get any of these products um, in like below the um, YouTube video and the details there. So check that out. All the item codes will be there. There's a link to shop and all that good stuff. Um, okay, so now I think we can basically, did I, here I was talking. This was my Mossy Meadow ink. So I just did a nice easy tap, tap, tap in there and stamped my thank you. And now I'm gonna grab my die cutting machine and I've got my, oops, my magnetic platform. I'm gonna put my thank you right there. And then this is just a strip. I don't even need this much, honestly. I think I'm gonna just kind of trim some off. That was when I was making multiples of these. I actually made this as a swap card. Um, and so I, I always use the strips just so I can kind of crank out a bunch of these cards all at once. And I will tell you, I was a little worried. You know, these detailed um, dies, uh, you know, oh my gosh, I'm gonna use that on a swap. How much time is that gonna take to cut all those babies out? But it really was not bad at all. I apologize, there might be some wiggle. I. The reason why it's not so bad, all of this detail, bear with me. <laughs> Turn your heads away for a sec. I'm just cranking through the die cutting machine here. Um, but the reason why it wasn't too difficult to get out of the die, I believe, is because I cranked it back and forth those three or four times, right? So we've got this, and let's see, I'm going to grab my little, I thought I had my, um, Big Shot Die Brush, it's around here somewhere, but I couldn't find it, and I really wanted to get this video made for you all. So, as I'm saying that, like now it's not gonna cooperate with me, right? It will, though. So once you, just carefully, I just took that little bit there, and then if you just, it kind of will release, and there we go. And there might be a couple of little pieces that we need to poke out, but very few. That one there and that one there and we're good to go, okay? And then this one's super simple and easy, that little thank you label. Oh, I love those little guys, right? Um, so I'm gonna be using that little label a lot, I'm sure. Okay, so what is our next step here? I'm gonna check out my card, right? So I think we can start putting things together, which is awesome. All right, so um, what do I need? I need some snail. Okay, so I'm gonna put some adhesive on the back of this piece. And I'm gonna add the flowers, those beautiful magnolias, right, to that piece of uh, Mossy Meadow cardstock. And then we've got our designer series paper. And I like, when I was making my swaps, I found this was easiest, so I didn't have to think about <laughs> where to line this up again. So I just kind of matched it right up there and then popped it on my card. Okay, now we want to, this is the beautiful, I love, not even sure what that texture is. It's maybe, a, I don't, not really, it's cottony maybe I would say. Um, some of the Magnolia Lane Ribbon. So we are gonna put just a strip of that right around our card base, or not our card base, but this Mossy Meadow piece here. And then I'm going to kind of just adhere it around on the back. So I wanna use a bunch of adhesive. Um, and actually I'm gonna do a little bit more on the inside there too, cause I really like to make sure that ribbon stays tight on there. And then I like to flip it back over because you never know, things can like wiggle around a little bit, make sure it's straight and then tack it back on that side. So we're gonna add some more adhesive there and there. And then pop this on our card, card front, right? Next, we are gonna add some adhesive to our thank you. And I'm gonna grab my little silicone craft sheet just cause I don't want the adhesive. Cause I want to um, make sure that I press down firmly enough to get that stuck on there, but I don't want the adhesive to transfer onto my little work paper. So this is just that handy little work surface. And then we have 
We're going to use a couple of dimensionals on the back of that baby right there. I'm going to peel these guys off and we're going to pop him right about there. Now, our last step, and I have to tell you guys, oh my goodness, I ran out. This is the other half of the Magnolia Lane. Um, it's like a combo pack. So there's this really dainty, um, I think it's a mossy meadow thread, and it comes with only five yards. And then five yards of this other beautiful ribbon that we used right there. But the problem was I used it all on my swaps. So I went to try to figure out, okay, what should we use? So I pulled out, this is the Nature's Twine. Can you see? It's just kind of a crumb cake color. And I think that this is gonna work well. So we're gonna just make a bow with this. So certainly you could use that Mossy Meadow thread if you get the combo pack of ribbon. But in the meantime, if you need another choice, I think this is a good backup option for us. So there is that Nature's Twine in the crumb cake color. And I should probably cut that off, shouldn't I? Okay, so I'm gonna trim that baby right there. Now I've got my glue dot, so I'm just gonna add a glue dot on the back of there. And we are gonna pop him, and I think that is gonna work just as well. So there we go. Do you guys love, oh, just so pretty. I love the flowers and the stripes. I think that's just a great combination. Um, of kind of patterned to go together. So I hope you all enjoyed this card. I hope you were inspired today. Um, I think I said already, right? But I wanna make sure all of the item codes for everything that you need to make this card are in the details to the YouTube video. And when you're ready to shop, hop over to my blog at gatheringinspiration.com, grab the tool, uh, host code on that right-hand side toolbar because you always get a thank you card from me. Um, and then if you spend at least $50 and use that host code, then I send you a free embellishment in the mail with your thank you card. And then you can always shop online at amysuzanne.stampinup.net. So check out my blog too. I've got lots of other good things happening there. So lots of projects and ideas I'm sharing um, every week on there. So thank you guys so much for watching. And like I said, if you need a catalog, let me know. I can get one sent out to you. I hope you enjoyed this card and we'll talk to you guys soon. Bye everybody.